Once you have created your Flipgrid account by logging in with your Office 365 credentials, you're ready to get started and create your first grid. If you're new to Flipgrid, essentially what Flipgrid is, is a video response platform where you as the teacher can post a topic that you want the students to discuss. But instead of responding with written work or typed work, they respond by recording themselves in a short video clip. And these video clips get all placed on a grid, hence the name Flipgrid, so that each student in the class can view each other's response to whatever it is the topic that they are going to be responding to. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create your first grid and this particular video is geared towards the um, the younger elementary students who may have a problem logging into Flipgrid using their Office 365 credentials because um, those credentials are kind of long for them to type. In another video, I will demonstrate for upper elementary and secondary schools how you would set up a grid so that those students could use their Office 365 credentials and not have to remember and create a new username and password to access your grid. So the first things first, we are logged into Flipgrid. This is my teacher account. I do not have any grids created yet, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new grid. And again, think of the word grid as another word for a classroom. So if you are an elementary teacher, you probably are only going to need one grid for your entire school year. If you are a secondary teacher and you have multiple classes or a special area, you may want to have a grid that separates each class by class. And the reason I say this is if you have one master grid, which will work fine, um, when you post a topic and have all of your students respond to it, because you and all of your classes collectively have probably close to 100 students, um, all of your students, all 100 students are going to be replying to one particular topic, which can make it kind of tedious to review everybody's. Um, but that's something that you can decide depending on how many grids you want to manage. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name this grid, and it can be as simple as your name. Ms. Robinson's fifth younger grades, second grade stars 2020. Now for our younger students again, um, and you can determine if you think your students can log in using Office 365 or not, but if you do have younger students in the range of first grade, second grade, possibly third grade, instead of having them um, log in using their Microsoft account, you can create a student ID for each of your students to keep it a little bit simpler for their login process. So if you click on student ID, I'm going to just scroll down. Um, this flip code over here is what the students are going to use to access your grid. So it automatically generates one for you. You can see here the students would go to flipgrid.com slash whatever. You can change this to make it a little bit simpler. Um, so if we wanted the information after flipgrid.com to be Robinson stars, if it's available, it'll tell you it's available, which it still is. So we're just going to leave it as that. I'm going to click next. So here's the area where you would put in your student information. So if you have a relatively small class, um, you can just type in the first name and last name and then the student ID is going to be what they type in to enter your grid. So for example, we typed in the first name, last name, and then uh, in order for Tim Tebow to log in, he would put in maybe his initials and 2020. And then I would click add. And you would redo this for each one of your students, AG 2020. You can be, a, it has to be a minimum of two characters. So you could keep it as simple or as difficult as you want depending on, um, again, the grade level of your students and what you think is most appropriate. So once I have all of my students in, I can click Next, and my grid has been created. So I can launch my grid. So this is the grid URL that you would give to your students so that they could access your grid. They would go to flipgrid.com slash Robinson stars. So you could put this in a place either on your class website or email it to your students' parents if they were going to be doing this at home or any other way, digital means of communicating with your students. This is what the students would need 
to access it. So we're going to click on go to your grid. Okay, so we have the grid created. Just to show you how the students would log in using that grid URL that we just had, I'm going to open up a new window so that you can see how this would look from the student perspective. And if you forgot what your, your grid URL is or your grid website address that we just created, you can click on the share button again and you would get the, the whole entire URL. So I'm just going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new window so you can see what this looks like. So in the address bar, I'm going to put that URL in, that flipgrid.com slash Robinson Stars, which is going to bring me to this page. So this page indicates, all right, how do I get in? What is the ID or QR code? So remember, the ID that I entered for each one of the students in my class was their initials followed by 2020. So you would have to tell the students what their ID is based on what you put it in the system when you created your grid. So we're going to, I'm going to click Remember Me, and then I'm going to click Let's Go. And now I am in as Tim Tebow and I can see the grid, and there's already a topic in here that I could respond to. This is the one that is automatically generated by the system, um, which I will show you how to turn off if you don't wanna use that first one and you just wanna use um, topics that you create. So that is essentially, in summary, how you would create your first grid and how you would create student accounts if you are in the younger elementary grades and you want an easier method for them to log into your grid.